There are some activities in Minecraft that you think are just going to take you a long, long time. But this has been going swimmingly well for me. I've been out here for about 20 minutes, I think. And this one is the very last puffer fish that I am going to collect for now. And you need to stop stalking me. Get wrecked, buddy. So this is a reasonably sized warm ocean where puffer fish will spawn and I've been swimming around in circles and it just gives them plenty of opportunity to spawn which has made light work of my task here. And so you might be wondering what am I going to get up to with all of these puffer fish? In the game of demise I am now a red namer and this means that it is my task to take out someone who's still alive. And puffer fish, well, this is going to be my weapon of choice. You see, I want to get creative and come up with a different way to demise another player that I don't think anyone else has done on the server, and the puffer fish might be the way to go. The problem is, though, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does poison the player. So we need to catch a player in a trap that's tricky to escape from, and I think what I've got planned may or may not work. We'll have to see. For the most part, this is about just having some fun, and fingers crossed it will work. Now, I've headed over to this island for a very specific reason. I think the best way to get a player is when they're actually offline, so they log back in and fall into your trap. But the thing is, I don't know where Wells Knight logged out, but he strikes me as the kind of organized player who would log out... <laughs> in a spot like this. So this is Wells Knight's tent, and this is where all of his storage is, I think. I I would bet that he's probably logged out somewhere in here. So if we rip up all of this floor, we're gonna build a box down below it with the puffer fish in. And this is where we get cheeky and take our gamble to the next level. We need to keep him in that area, right? So I've gone and mined a whole bunch of obsidian, and we'll use that in the box down below so he can't just mine his way out of it and if there's enough puffer fish which i think we've got swimming around then it's going to be tricky to place a block at your feet and pillar out i also think if he like logged out in the corner here filling in a few blocks it might like nudge him back into the middle right and i've emptied out these barrels here so this is going to be the area that we dig down on and we don't have to go down that far because full damage isn't a part of the equation. Wells will hopefully log in and fall straight into water. But if Wells has enderpearls on him, he'll be able to enderpearl out of here. Which I just kind of realized doesn't mean I need to go down further. It means I need to shore up some of the space up there. So he'll just hit the wall and come straight back down again. Okay, so I'm going to close up all of these blocks here like this. So if Wells decides that he wants to dig his way out of here, well, I'm going to make the obsidian walls too thick. Okay, so there goes the base. Okay, I'm just going to go one thick for the third layer here. I think that's good. So this is the very last of my obsidian. I think I've spent it wisely. And for this next bit, I want to take no risks. I need to be able to click into the water, but stand far enough back that this one here doesn't get me. So again, the idea is that by spamming these puffer fish, it will make it harder to place blocks and to break them. And that's because you're going to be constantly swarmed by these little hitboxes moving around you. Okay, in goes the last of them. I've got to point it out, they're all sort of going to that end over there. Is it because they're avoiding me, the player, though? Well, hopefully all of this works. I was just wondering if Wells were to log out outside of this area... If I were to be stealthy, he might come over here and investigate, break some dirt blocks, and I could punch him from behind. But I've got other things I need to do on the server, so I'm just going to have to leave this as is. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. We are going to have to wait till later to find out what's happened with Wells. As of right now, though... I've spent an extraordinary amount of hours over here chopping down mangrove wood for our base. This stuff is a bit of a pain to get. I have built the same farm that we built last season. However, because I need such vast quantities of it, I'm realizing how slow and grindy this method is to actually get your mangrove wood. Not to mention that this happens where the roots break the water system so every so often a tree will grow where I have to come down here 
and fill it all around like this. Rip out all of the blocks on top. Rip out these ones here. And then I've got to get rid of these water sources. It's decent if you need a small amount of mangrove wood, but if you need a crazy amount like I've needed, ah, it's a bit of a pain. But I'll tell you what, it is a good farm for getting a ton of these roots. You get loads of this from this process. And of course, you also get a ridiculous amount of mangrove leaves. Anyways, I've deemed this not to be good enough for our needs, which means we might get up to some engineering and creating a better one of these farms. Because you can bone mill leaf blocks and then the proper gills to get a sapling, and you can do this with dispensers, I think it's going to involve spamming a lot of these proper gills. That though is an experiment for another time. Here is the farm if you haven't seen it before. When we built it last season, I only needed a little bit of this stuff, and I've needed so much for my base, it took me hours and hours of grinding to get it all. And over here at Loglands, we have just two more things to do. The nether woods and the bamboo, and then we'll have all of the wood types farmed manually over here. And of course, with the goal in the future of using the bone mill from the skeleton spawner to automate it all. So we will be heading back to Logland shortly. And now I want to get back over to the base and show you what all this wood was used for. I had to go grab some clay because I forgot of something rather important, which reminds me of an extended tip from our last one with the furnaces using bamboo. Many of you commented that I should turn the bamboo blocks into bamboo planks, and this will make the fuel even more efficient. So the bricks are going to be used for decorated pots, which I think... Yeah, you can put a decorated pot inside of a decorated pot. So you need to hold shift when you place them on top of one another. Oh yeah, and I had a skeleton spawning up here a moment ago, which reminded me, like, these things can be shot too. The purpose of this room, however, is going to be... Dang it, I just put one in there. It's, it's going to be like a bedroom. I think I got a plan for a mementos room somewhere else. Maybe that should actually go here. Anyway, you can kind of picture it like bedroom area with its own little balcony looking at the mountain and off into the distance. Yeah, this might have been better on the opposite side as it goes. So most of the mangrove wood went into the ceiling and the floor of this room. Not sure what the plan for this one is, but it'll hook up to this tower on the side. So yeah, lots of space around here for me to put the various components of our base in. And this building over here on the side, still unfinished, in need of details, just another place to put something. Although it's kind of missing some support for the roof. For that, I have these mud block pillars to go in the corner. And what's cool is I now have the mangrove roots to make the muddy mangrove roots. So these can have a bit more to them now which is going to look especially good in spots like this and on this wall over here. But there is a long way to go. Slowly, I will get more and more of the things that I need to detail this build up. And it's far from finished. These buildings need more shape. They need more things attached to them. But we're getting the basics in. And this is that separate build palette that I'm putting on top of here. I've just noticed, though, there's a mangrove log on the end here that should be wood. And this roof is unfinished because there's going to be another level above it too. But at the moment, I'm kind of done. It's been an absolute grind and I really want to start to move into the inside, figure out my storage and get this thing feeling more like a home. But we have other things to do this episode and I want to show you how I got the mud. I brought over this little contraption from last season, which doesn't use a lot of resources at all. It's two dispensers, a dropper, a few hoppers here. The main thing is that you have to get your hands on a lot of glass bowls. So I took a trip over to a desert and grinded out a bunch of that. And I'd like to tell you that this thing works flawlessly, but I don't know, every now and then it just messes up. The other thing is that visually, it looks like it's not turning to mud. I definitely saw one turn to a path block. And this run seems like it's not doing well at all. I've got two bottles in my inventory straight away. Anyways, it gets the job done with the occasional dirt block going in and some of these water bottles, which you can fill up with a dispenser. I'm not sure if there's a way to empty them automatically. If we could, then we could create a little contraption to just chuck them in after, and then they can get pushed back into this contraption. And that's important, because if you ever run out of glass bottles in this slot, then the contraption can break. But yeah, a handy contraption that's been enabling me to get my hands on more blocks. 
Because of course we also needed those to make all of this pack dirt up the top here. Anyways, what I need to do next is bring a friend into Logland. This is not going to be a solo project. Ah, uh, Rendog. Thank you so much, my friend, for joining me over here. Hello, X. I, I am feeling some vibes, some log vibes. What's I like that on? you're showing off your skin. I need to do that more, man. Always covering myself in armor. Dude, the only reason I don't wear armor is because uh, armor's for noobs, dude. Oh, I know. You know. I know. I guess you were probably easy to get in the game of Demise then. Um, yeah. <laughs> not, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Look, I've, I've brought you over here to be my partner in crime on a what project is that is about uh -huh. evolution over time, right? Like, start simple and keep making it bigger and bigger. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Now, I don't want you to act so surprised because you know exactly what we're going to build here. This is Logland. We're going to build something incredible on the space that is here at some point in the future. Yeah. I so, mean, I'm not surprised by what I see. I'm surprised by the <laughs> size of it. Oh, this is this is nothing compared to the final product. <laughs> nothing. But yeah, wow. it's, it's like a, a really good starter farm. So yeah, I want you to be my logging partner, basically. Like, okay. I just think it's cool to do a project with another person. So you and me That's together true. can just help each other and then all our logging needs for building and stuff, you know, yeah. we, we can help one another with that. We've been talking about this for a couple of weeks now, you know, yeah. and it's it, it, obviously I've been working hard over the seasons to perfect log gathering. Mm. My last rendition of a similar farm like this was pretty successful, but I love the double lane. This is like a, an evolution already of the yeah. the log farming. Well, this situations. was this was inspired by you. I just remembered you doing the thing with the minecarts underneath, and then I got into a world, and, and it's like hit me. It's like you make it one wide for the one wide trees, but yep. you can put that on a two lane, right? Yep. Just just put them both on one side. Yes, I made the Giga Chopper in last season, but this is like the o Omega Giga Chopper. <laughs> From what I can see. I mean, what do you think this thing here is, by the way? <laughs> um, I've been looking at it. I a, a billboard? A billboard. Yeah, that was my Legs? idea. I was like I could put I could put like a logland signed on it. It's it's an obnoxious skeleton farm where you you send them up one side and drop them down, right? Oh, this is a skeleton farm, dude. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Like there are like loads of spawners in this area and one of them was actually like right underneath where I built the farm. So Oh, this is amazing. This is perfect. But yeah, you can get bone meal right here. And Amazing. With the crafter, we can make a pipeline to like automate the growth of the trees and then all the items that you get from it eventually. So Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. You just blew my mind. The so, crafter <laughs> is gonna I be. I forgot a huge about that thing. Yeah. It's a game changer <laughs> in a ways. So we get the bones from the skellies, bones get turned into bone meal, bone ends up in dispensers, dispensers grow trees, we chop trees, boom. Is that well, how it works? We might even cut out the us chopping trees bit, but it's all just like one step at a time for now. Do you remember back to season four when you and I were manually chopping trees for the log fellas shop? We were the log fellas, yeah. Yeah. I do, spent do we every retain morning the on name, the server. Or are we now the log lads? <laughs> um maybe we leave that up to the viewer. <laughs> yeah, I wanna know what they way they go on that. I might I might tweet out a poll on Twitter or something. I quite like the log lads though. Uh, I got something for you, though, to kind of, like, Ooh. set it in stone, right? Okay. Uh, we both got... Check this out. Our log lads. Ooh, choppers. it's shiny. It's shiny. Yeah. Silk touch, efficiency 5. Fortune 3, efficiency 5. Dude, this is insane. They're the Thank best. You. <laughs> wow, They're the best. these are awesome. Well, I must say, Azuma, I am very pleased to be getting back into the long business with you, my dear friend. It's about freaking time, if you ask me. It's, it's been only a been while. like it's five years. Been a few seasons, yeah. And if we just look around at this area here right now, because one day we'll be looking back at this and, you know, it'll be an incredible sight to behold in the future. And it oh, started brilliant. off like this. I was expecting like a tree on a hopper, though, to be fair, Azuma, before I came over here. So you're already <laughs> uh, ahead of the curve. Uh, X, how do I get out of this? There's I, a ladder. I, I fell in. There's a ladder. In, Just one. Down the end Wait, here. Wait, where? Over here. Oh, you Ren. thought of everything. 
you thought of everything you could, even a way out if you, yeah. in case you fall in <laughs> it could do a that's few actually more something ladders, really couldn't it yeah this is something that i didn't have in my own farm i just used to elytra out but we don't have that now so yeah we're early game great. we gotta start from the beginning again and think about things differently uh look nice. i got i got like a mission to do like we uh -huh. we you're my Whoop. partner now we gotta work together here there's okay. two more things we need for this area to complete the you know all the different wood types yeah i don't have any of the new never wood saplings or whatever we're calling them fungus and yep. we need some bamboo over here as well so those could be like oh. our next two little projects get saplings from the never and get some bamboo over here okay i i'm happy to to take care of the bamboo <clears throat> you don't want to go to the never no uh, armors no. for look noobs at, isn't look it look at me i'm naked dude i don't have any <laughs> i don't have any armor <laughs> i'll take care of the never then that, that that'll work just fine okay i'll take care of the bamboo Awesome. It's going to be a hard task, X. I have to travel really far. You know, it's going to be a dangerous, treacherous journey. Yeah, to find the sure, bamboo. sure, it's sure. Going, I've seen that massive yeah, bamboo farm outside of your base. I don't know what you're base. talking about, X. I don't know what you're talking about. I'll take uh... care of the bamboo. Don't worry about it, okay? <laughs> so we now have a partner in logging. And what's ironic about this is I don't actually need a lot for my base, right? It's mostly made out of stone and tough, but I'm in it for the automation and the redstone side of things. And yes, it was a fair bit of work to get my hands on these axes. I've been grinding those enchantments away in the background so that me and Ren could have the best axes for the job. Now, some of you are probably very keen to find out what happened with Wells Knight, and I'll tell you straight away, look at this. I'm still a red namer. And before I roll the footage I recorded with Wells, I wanted to let you know that today is actually part of a live stream weekend that we've organized. And I'm streaming later today after this video comes out. About five hours later, I'll be live on Twitch. So feel free to follow me over there. And I'm also streaming the following morning on Sunday. Oh, there he is. He survived. He survived the trap. Ah, there you are. Hi. <sighs> you survived. I did. Uh, I, I was fortunate enough to have blocks in my inventory. Otherwise, Dang. probably would not have worked. Um. Dang. How close did it get you? Uh, about half. Half Halfway your health. Down. Okay. Yep. And Before I got out of the water. And you just pillaged straight out. Yeah. I just uh, jumped oh, up man. and pillared. Oh, yep. man. Yeah. <sighs> if I didn't have blocks, though, I think I would have been in a lot more trouble. Because oh, I, I don't sure. know that I was going to be able to break the obsidian. Um for sure. Well, That's why it's there. <laughs> Here's yeah, the thing. I figured as much. I put a lot of puffer fish in there, and I was hoping yeah. that meant you wouldn't have any space to place blocks. Yeah, they all seem to be kind of like over on this that side. side. Yep, that's what over I saw. There. So <sighs> I, I was able to escape. But... I had this other idea, but it was a little too late. I thought, oh, I could have put a bunch of like open fence gates in there above you so you could fall through them, but then. Like, they're in your way if you try and pull her out. Oh. Gotcha. I didn't want to come back, though, because it was closer to the time you would log on, so... Yeah, oh, that's well, fair. I it was tried. a good attempt, though. It was definitely a good attempt. I was uh, not expecting to be in immediate danger <laughs> the moment that I logged onto the server, but... Were you, uh, were you recording? Uh, I was about five seconds afterwards, yes. <laughs> <laughs> got ya, got ya. Awesome. I was like, oh, I'm dying at the moment. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, good <laughs> me... time to record. I'll just, you know, we could maybe just leave it down there and just. <laughs> it's just... All right. Wait, are they still down there? I thought they were oh, all yeah. dead. No, no, they're definitely not. Okay, wait a minute. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Oh, no, you're taking them out, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're I'm, not going to get I'm you. Yeah, no, I'm just murdering them now. <laughs> Oh, poor guys. I thought I'd have a little fun. Well, it's a good thing I didn't jump down there. Or I might have died to my own trap. That would have been quite amusing. Yeah. Actually. Um. <laughs> I thought there's no there's no harm in having a little fun punching you in there. And they're still alive. I could barely see them. Yeah. Yeah. It's super dark. Uh, do you have any torches? Yes. Yeah. I was going to say, just throw a torch down there. Yeah. We got, uh, <laughs> got a little. Got a, a few left. Fish let, let me scoop on. up a couple. Because these, yeah, go well, they it. actually didn't take me very long to get. There, there's a nice little biome where they spawn plentifully. Okay, hang on, let's get closer. Out now, I'm poisoned. 
So I guess I could reuse them and try this on someone else. Because I haven't got you, that means I've got to get... Ah! I know B-dubs is still uh, alive. He is, so. yeah. Maybe he'll be that my next be, victim. I think so here? those barrels that I ripped out of the ground, yep. I put I put some stuff into your main chest, this chest on the side, um, and then the rest of it is over here in this chest, so not not too much of a mess okay. to get it back. Cool. All right. Should be easy. <laughs> All right. Well, good attempt. Uh, a noble attempt Thank for you. sure. Um, you know, I guess uh, maybe Stay next vigilant, time. Wells. Stay vigilant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shall. I shall. So I stuck around for a bit to help Wells clean up the trap and actually got some of my puffer fish back. So I've still got to go after someone and I might just try it with the puffer fish again. But one thing's for sure, that's an adventure for another day as that's going to be it for me of this one. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and I'll see you soon with another episode of Hermitcraft. Bye bye.